Until recently, everything we knew about stars, galaxies, and even black holes came to us through light, by seeing. But now, with the exciting announcement of LIGO, a gravitational wave observatory, we have a whole new way to explore the universe, a new sense. Instead of just seeing, we can feel what's happening in the universe. Think about it like an earthquake and how you know it's happening. You might see buildings shake and fall, but you might also be on the ground and feel or measure the ground shaking. And just like earthquakes generate seismic waves which cause the ground to shake, objects in space can cause gravitational waves which cause space itself to shake or distort. Black holes are some of the most massive objects in the universe, and when two of them spiral in towards each other and collide to form a larger, massive black hole, what you find are that gravitational waves are generated, and these are what we were able to detect on Earth with LIGO. The way LIGO detected this was by taking advantage of how space will shake, because just like this rubber band, what happens is that space stretches and squeezes. So LIGO consists of L-shaped buildings with lasers going through them. And as space will stretch and squeeze, these laser arms will change in length. So what LIGO found last September was that these arms were changing in length by less than a fraction of the size of an atom. And that's truly small, especially considering that each arm of the laser is two and a half miles long. So this change in the length of these arms wasn't found in just one location, but they actually found it in two places, both in Washington State and in Louisiana, where LIGO has its two observatories. So by finding it in two places, we could attribute this to a source out in space and not just a truck passing by down the road. So this discovery of LIGO is the first direct detection of gravitational waves ever. And it's exciting, not just because we're learning about black holes and how they form and grow, but also because it's testing and confirming one of the predictions of Einstein's theory of general relativity. So again, Einstein was right, but it's not something that he could confirm himself when he came up with this theory 100 years ago. And that's because it required a lot of technological development to isolate such a tiny signal because again, this came from a source 1.3 billion light years away. So now we're in this era of new discovery and you can think of it just like as we've gone into space. It took so much technology to get there, but what we found since getting there is a whole new world that we couldn't expect just from being on the ground. So with LIGO and other gravitational wave observatories, we can look forward to lots of new discoveries and helpful technologies that will allow us to not only see what's out in the universe, but feel it too.